Have you ever wanted to know how to create a sunburst chart like the one you're looking at right now? Well, it's a lot easier in Excel uh, since about 2016 because they bolted it in and made it available. So let's just show you how to do that. So you'll notice on uh, this particular chart, which is what I'm going to reproduce, that uh, there, are, there are numbers. So this is uh, the uh, emissions, carbon emissions from uh, 2015. And you can see that there are numbers for mining and upstream oil, 105,000, public electricity and heat, 83,000, so on and so forth. Um, and it's broken down into this lovely little, uh, uh, you know, it really it's sort of like a set of pie charts and it puts them together in what is called a uh, sunburst chart. So let's take a look at it. So we copied the information out and this is really the key that you need to follow. It's the, what the, the key to this is the structure. So as you can see here, uh, energy, stationary combustion, mining and upstream. Let's just take a look at that. Energy is the first ring here, stationary combustion, and then mining. And then it went to public, and then it went to manufacturing, residential. Public, manufacturing, residential, and I just continued my way down. Then the next segment of the pie is transportation. So you can see I've just, or transport, and there are three things here, road, off-road, and you know, air, rail, marine. And I've done road, off-road, air, rail, marine. And you can see it's just broken down in the same structure. So then it's very simple to do. Once you've got your numbers laid out the way you would like, you simply click, uh, drag over top of it, select insert uh, recommended charts, click all charts and click sunburst chart. And bedingo, there it is. Now, the sunburst chart is actually quite versatile. There's lots of things you can do with it, including uh, coloring individual segments. So say this is one that you were particularly worried about, this segment right here. Uh, you can drill into it and you can say, well, I would like this segment to be, uh, let's go with, um, uh, I don't want it to be filled at all. Or I would like it to be a uh, gradient fill, right? Or we can, you know, uh, add it to a, uh, add uh, different uh, photos to it or whatever else. Let's go to picture and we'll say file. Let's go to online just for fun. We'll choose cars. Okay, don't like that. <laughs> let's go with traffic. There we go. So let's go with that one. So I'm going to pop that one in. And you can see, boom, that looks great. Right now, now you look at that and say, well, it looks kind of great, but I still can't see, for instance, there's no text on this one. So I want to, I have to make this bigger. Well, let's, or sorry, you have to just resize it to make it bigger and then the, the text will come in. But then you realize, well, that text isn't very clear. Okay, so click on it and then change the uh, change the font, make it larger, change the color. So instead of making it, um, well, let's instead of make it nine, let's make it 14, something quite large, right? And we'll make it bold as well. Okay, actually, so 14 is probably too large for this. Let's go back to, uh, let's go to um, 11, 11 is fine. Yeah, um, then you can, uh, again, resize to your heart's content. You can add text in here. So I can simply click insert and text box and I can put a lovely text box in here that says, oh, what was the total number that she had here? 721778, 721778, 778, uh, KT. And uh, I want to make that a little prettier, so I'm going to make that centered, and I'm going to make it bold, and I'm going to make it, uh, well, blue to match the rest of it, I suppose. Not that, sorry, not the box, let's undo that. Uh, I meant the font, the, uh, the color itself, the uh, text itself. Let's change that to 18. Okay, a little too big. 14. Chart title. Uh, you can go in and uh, put in your... Uh, chart title, and again, I want to set that to be something larger, and I'd like it to be underscored. We'll just go through these other options that you can uh, play with. Uh, transparencies are kind of handy. Uh, one of the things I like to play with is the uh, gaps between these lines. Okay, so we select the graph, and then um, and we go to series options and make sure it's on series, and under border is where you can set the width. So. Let's say you want the width to be uh, the width uh, of these to be you know five, so, so there's some gigantic separation, you know ten, something like that. So I'm going to set it to you know two because I would like it to be a little more noticeable than, than we had it. 
And that's it. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.